What's good with it in the hood with it? Welcome back to the Collective Clips. And before we get into this, I need you to hit that like button. I need you to hit that subscribe button. I need you to hit that button that says notifications and put it on all because we're all going to get into this right here, man. Stories to tell, things to say. You already know what it is. The Collective Clips, man, where we really get it in, right? You see that thumbnail right there? You see Dubs doing this? Smiling, huh? Laughing at your boy. Mm-hmm. All right. All right. You want to play? Well, now we're going to play. You want to go there? Well, now we're going to go there. Right? Trip out, man. That's the homie. And first and foremost, man, don't be clickbaited by the differences of opinions and the differences of our style because that's what this is all about, man. The North, South style. The different stilo. Or is it? One never knows does one. But when you come from a mentality and an old school mentality like we have, um... We lived through some wars, some guerra, right? We lived through the real deal, the going of back and forth, the politics at its finest, man, the hatred that was instilled within us to not like each other. And we've come together like crimson and clover, homie. That's the homeboy right there. That's a good man, a good person. You know, and when you really break it down and you get down to the core and the bottom of things, you realize as raza, as Chicanos, Mexicanos, whatever the case may be, whatever you like to, whatever label you put on it, Holmes, we're all the same. Guard! Not you though. We're all the same. Um, but there is a different stilo. You know, people always ask me questions. And I wanted to answer some of them questions today. You know, people ask me, Gunner, why do Norteños act black? Gunner, why do Norteños wear goatifuses in their mouth? Gunner, why do uh, Norteños bling bling every time we come around the city bling bling like a motherfucking Cash Money Millionaire song? Why do Norteños wear braids, act different? You know, and all I got to say is, who cares? Why not? If you got it, it ain't tricking, right? It ain't tricking if you got it. Now, let me tell you something about Northern California. The game is thick. It's raining game in Northern California. It's raining a whole lot of game in Southern California. California as a whole, man, is gamed up, laced up, seasoned like some motherfucking vets from the Jets. It just is what it is, you know? And when people ask these questions, it's not out of a wonder why. It's out of a way to clown or belittle, you know? So what if you think Norteños act black? What's wrong with acting black? I don't even know how one acts black, to tell you the truth. You can't act a certain way. You just are who you are. The geographical areas that we grew up in, we worked hand in hand simultaneously with a lot of Africano brothers, man. A lot of blacks were in the same neighborhoods, shared the same barrios, shared the same territories. So it was only natural and it was only righteous that we came together like glue on Elmer's paper, right? Mm -hmm. Or is it Elmer glues on construction paper? One never knows, does one. I'm just making shit up as I go. But look, you know, we came together for a common understanding and goal. And that's minorities trying to get up out of poverty. When you live in an urban community, when you're looked at the same way, why not act the same way? You get treated the same way. You think the blackers care if you're black or brown? They don't give a fuck, comes. You are what you are, and that's it. Okay, and then you journey down to Southern California, and there's always been that different stilo, that more choloism style, right? Chicanoism, Chicanismo, you know, Ben Davis's, Dickies, uh, 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 Cortez's, and, and fucking Stacey Adams, all my hush puppies, he thought my. They have that up north too. It'd be like this around this camp. You know, I had a homeboy fucking that wore suspenders every day of his life. So that's okay. His pants were pulled up to here, right here. All you seen was head and fucking waistline. That's it. That's just how he rocked. Um, it didn't mean anything. I guess his name was Psycho. So he was a little off, right? He was a little crazy. But that was the way he rocked homes. That's the way he carried himself. And it was embraced. You have some homeboys with braids, diamonds in their fucking mouth. And then some homeboys that wore Ben Davises and shirts that said Ben Drunk. You know, for how long? That's just how it was. Now, down south in Southern California, there was a style, an image. The Latino people down there, the Chicanos, you know, carried that torch and that flame, homes. You know, but nowadays, it's different. Nowadays, you got a lot... You can't tell. So that's good. You can't tell. Now you're starting to see braids down south with Mexicanos, diamonds in their mouth as well. You're starting to see a lot of different things, a lot of gold chainery. You're about to see... A whole different level because everyone is taking it to a different level. See, it's no longer becoming about gangbanging. It's no longer becoming about an image that people have to appreciate. It's now becoming about what the fuck you want to do as a man. 
Everyone's dictating their own program. There's always going to be the stilo. There's always going to be the love. And I hate the fact that there's a loss of love for our culture. I hate the fact that the youngsters nowadays will never embrace it and never know what it was to go to Kmart to get the dicky suit. They don't know. They don't even know Kmart. Like, how, how the fuck do you know? Not no blue light special. Says, like, remember the popcorn back in the day? It smelled bomb, huh? But you never got any because your mom's welfare check couldn't afford it? Mm-hmm. That was me. You know, when you go into the fucking Kmart, your mom says, go in the toy aisle and just stand there. And you're just like this. Scared. One time I even almost shit my pants. I never go to the bathroom, right? It was bad. Um, you have a bottle like dubs, right? We have two totally different stilos, but we mesh well. The opposites of the homeboyism attracts, right? I'm outlandish. Everybody knows, man. I'm Versace down, Gucci, Supreme up, uh, gold chain down. This is just my stilo. This is how I've always been, man. This is how I troop, right? This is how I march to the beat. Um, I like nice things and nice things like me. And that's how it's always going to be. It doesn't mean I think I'm better than anyone. It doesn't mean I have a certain stilo or I'm trying to act a certain you know, race. It doesn't mean I'm trying to act black. It doesn't mean any of that. What it means is I'm doing me and I'm going to proceed to do me. See, I've always been like this. I've always looked good, smelled good, and acted crazy, right? Whereas Dubs is more serio and has got a different type of stilo, a different type of flavor. We're on a different page when it comes to that. I think that's the only thing we're on a different page about. See, we had two different type of lives, but all the same. See, I grew up in a single parent household, right? Mother struggling on food stamps and welfare, trying to get it, right? I grew up at a very young age, picking up the gun and handling my business and getting incarcerated. Dubs was over there down south doing the same exact thing, coming from a broken home, coming from the same type of shit, the same type of turmoils, the same type of obstacles, Maybe a little bit different. Maybe his was a little bit rougher, man. And you know what? I got to commend him for being the man he is and overcoming that barrier. But those are his stories to tell. So I'll let him tell them on his channel. But one thing I'll say for sure is he rose up out the mud, about the ashes. After 24 long years in the shoe, in prison, validated, doing time, Davalta was able to bounce back like a thumbtack. And now we have come together with the same mentality. Maybe a different page as far as how we look and how we present ourselves and how our channels rock. But at the end of the day, we have some of the common understandings, the same goals. This is what being Rasa is all about. This is what it's all about. Now, I tell you stories about prison. I tell you stories about gangs. I tell you stories about tortas. Oh, my. Right? I tell you a whole lot. But at the end of the day, man, the true definition of a story is what you get out of it. Right? I always want to push a good narrative. I always want you to be like, damn, he bummed the shit out of her. But at the same time, you know what I mean? She could have gave him CDOT. You have to look at every different angle of the stories I tell to understand how I get down. Now, with Dubs' channel, you know, you're going to get a more serial approach. A more point blank, straight to the fucking core. That's what it is. Bam! Take it. Toma. With me... You're going to get a bit, of, a little bit of a different flavor, Sasuke. I'm going to sing it to you. Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. But that doesn't mean that we weren't both wiggling in prison. That doesn't mean that he was more vicious or treacherous than I was or, I, or me, him, vice versa. No. What it means is we just had two different outlooks in the way we carried and conducted ourselves. Now, I know a lot of people like Dub Stilo more. That was to say, right? That was to say, right? New video. Was hand, right? They like that. And then some people like me, I cater more towards the younger generation, the people that are coming up in the game. They look towards me for that education that they can't get, citations. And that's just what it is, that knowledge you can't get in college. I'm just trying to game you up just like the rest of them. My channel was not here to pity anyone or fucking step on their head bone or push them down, but it's here to uplift the rasa as a whole. Like I said, I'm not a negative, a positive channel. I'm a real channel, man, and this is just what it's going to be like. Now, I was talking to Dubs yesterday, man, and he told me a story, right? And it's a story that he's told on his channel about a $20 bill. And I don't want to go too far into the details because this story was heartbreaking, right? Listening to it, I could identify because I did the same thing when I was young, man. Um, but there wasn't the same repercussions, right? So he told me a story about and we were on the phone bullshitting, right? And I don't know how it came up, man. You know what I'm saying? We was talking about our ladies and how happy we were and shit. You know, we're in la la land. Only it's not lost, right? But we're happy. And uh, and it came up. We started talking about a deeper situation about our families. And about some of the things and the struggles that we went through as children. 
And a lot of the raza can identify, gente. I know you guys can identify with the shit, right? Um, real ones. So he's like, hey, you ever took money out of your mom's purse when you were little? You know, I mean, a little quarter here, a little quarter there. You're just trying to win one time. A little penny candy never hurt nobody. I said, man, shit, did I? Shit, I used to take a whole book of food stamps one time. Brrr, I thought I was balling. I was chomping on that motherfucker. What's happening? What's happening? I was politicking. I got to stomp me off for what? You know, I got to stomp me off for every bump on your face. And so he tells me a story um, about looking into his mother's purse for some coins and only seeing a stack of 20s and thinking, you know, should I take one? And knowing that money was important, but not knowing how important it really was. And we're not going to get into the importance of why, but let's just say that he snatched a 20, right? Went and buried it across the street, he told me, and, and was like, fuck, right? And when he came home, um, there was a struggle that had ensued over that 20. And he realized, without going into too many details, because that's his story, Holmes, that he really messed up. He really affected his familia. You know, and he's told me that day right there is the day that he ceased to do that. That he knew that day he would never steal again. He would never put his hands in someone else's pockets. He would never do that. And that's what it takes as a man to be able to admit your faults and to be able to uplift yourself and keep pushing forever forward. I mean, I identify with that because I got caught up in kind of the same situation, not as bad as his because, man, there was a lot of repercussions for his actions. Um, and he's not the one that felt recourse, right? But like I said, refer to his channel, his story is called, uh, you know, when he stole the $20 bill. So, um, you know, like I said, I could identify with stuff. We are on a different page, man, when it comes to the style of dressing, some of our mentality, how we grew up. You know, I'm not going to sit here and sugarcoat and add preservatives when I tell you Northern California is much different from Southern California. Yes, gente, we've rocked differently. Yes, we have different beliefs and different idealisms and different goals. But at the same time, we're all brown. We all wake up, fart in the morning, wash our face, and eat tortillas and nopales. Well, Dubs never had nopales. He said, what does it taste like? I said, it tastes like a bitter ass fucking piece of cactus, eh? He said, all right, I'm going to try it, right? So, but at the same time, um, we're all the same. And we need to start acting all the same. That's just what it is. You know, we have to proceed in that light. Um, as far as what we're going to continue to do here on YouTube, he's going to continue to do his channel. And I hope that you guys support. I hope that you guys listen to his prison stories because they're all facts, Holmes. He's been them places. I've been to them places. You know, I understand. You know, we talk about CYA a lot. And I know we get a lot of backlash for it. a lot of people talk shit because we talk about why. Haven't you ever been anywhere else than why stories? Have you ever been to why to understand what we went through and how dangerous that situation was? There ain't a motherfucking prison, not a high desert or a Pelican Bay that could touch YTS or Nellis or Paso. I guarantee that we were rocking. We were rolling. We were twisting sisters. It was going right. Let me tell you something <laughs> straight up. That's why we try to give the game. That's why we reminisce on things that we know about. You know, I get a lot of shit because of how the way I act, because of I sing and I dance and I'm boisterous and I'm fine. And your chick's fucking probably watching me. I know mine's. That's how she found me. Her and her old man were watching me. She was like all wet and shit. And the next thing you know, time's gay. She's my wifey. Bang, bang. Be like that sometimes. <laughs> Versace. Um, and she's going to watch this one too. That's right, baby. Um, but I'll tell you for sure, you know, a lot of the things I do, a lot of the stories I tell, I get a lot of fucking heat. There's a lot of drama behind it. And my boy Dubs, just because he associates or affiliates himself with me, because that's what real ones do. They don't turn their back on their homeboys because other people don't like them because they can't take the pressure, right? He still rocks with me. He still shows love. He still knows what it is, you know? Um, we have conversations daily and we are on a fucking same page. Maybe a different page in the way we look, the way we dress, maybe even the way we act. But it right here, Holmes, and right here, we're on that same fucking page. And that's what real ones do. So for the people that are asking me questions, man, I heard you and Dubs are beefing. Or, man, I heard Dubs, he goes live and you don't go live with them. Man, hey, check it out, homie. It ain't never going to be that. That's the homeboy right there from the sur. And I'm from up north, Holmes. And we're going to continue to rock like that. Do we represent the sur in north? Absolutely not. We represent the brown. And we're going to continue to represent the brown. See them two buttons right there? Yeah, what the dog, the Rochero, and then what the gunner, the J. Carrero. Okay, then what this is going to represent the Norte and the Sur together is combined. It's Raza Green. That's it. And nothing in between. So with that being said, gente, 
I hope I've answered questions to people that keep asking me over and over again am I beefing with doves? Is there fucking drama? Is there trouble in paradise? Are we no longer homeboys? Do we no longer associate? Fuck you. Yes, we do. We're good homeboys, man. And we're going to continue to do that. And we're only here to uplift the spirit of the people. We're not here to down, uh, create downfalls and create controversy. I like to talk a little shit. That's what I do. And if you hate me for it, it's because you hate me for it. And that's cool. But don't use my shortcomings and what you hate about me to ridicule that man. Don't judge him based off of me. Show love and respect. That about was a veterano in a real way, homes. We're talking about someone who went through the trenches for 24 fucking balas straight. Shoe programs, new Folsom's, fucking whatever other prisons he was in. So that's it's crazy. All the way from YA to getting out for just a few months and going right back in. If you ain't got respect for what he's done in his life and the work he's put in, man... Sasuke, I don't know who the fuck you are. And myself, I know a lot of people like to talk shit. Well, God, you just look too fly for a brown guy. I know, I know. Pantanatina. But at the same time, homes, understand that I've went through some of the same struggles. Prisons, different state prisons. You know, I mean, uh, uh, the YA, the Youth Authority. You know, I've been to a lot. And my stories have just begun. Gunner, you're out of authority. You don't got shit to tell. I just started, I said. Bang, bang. I just started. You know, anyways, with that being said, I wanted to answer some questions. Are we on the same page? Do we have a different mentality? Do Northenials uh, act black and do Southerners act brown? Um, we, I think we're all brown. No one acts a certain way, Holmes. We just have a different style. But now you're starting to see it's leak off. It's leaking off into the Southern side and they're acting like that. As far as my mentality and Dubs' mentality, two different ones, same page. With that being said, I hope that you move smooth with a purpose and that you listen to the fucking words that I'm saying today on the collective clips. Because this one means something to me, gente. You know what I mean? Show some respect. Show some love. Stop talking all that shit, man. Especially when you got a whole bunch of shit in your closet. It's crazy, eh? You know what it is. Thumbs up or thumbs down. See, heavy's going to be the head that wears the crown. I'm going to continue to strive and struggle and struggle and strive for what I honestly and truly believe in. And that's the coming together of the Rasa. The power of the Rasa is real, homie. We just got to make it happen. And that's just what it be like. This is the gun. Bang, bang. Shout out to my boy, Food and Fellas. Go tap in. My boy, Trap Island Records. Tap in in the Dub and Dub Ass channel. And you already know, Gunners Collective. Woo, I'm getting it back, homie. The bubble back is real. Bang, bang.